One of the ways we save money is we buy in bulk, and we got a big uh, package of turkey breast, and we're using our slicer to slice it up. Janelle and the kids are at Grandpa's and Grandma's house right now, and when they go there, I try to see how much work I can get done. I got several instruments fixed today, and now I'm going to neaten up the shop a bit. Uh, when I work, I don't tend to get as much cleaning done as I should, so it usually is quite a mess. About 20 minutes before they get home, so I'm going to see how much I can get done in 20 minutes. I'm going to start with these tables. I brought these tables in a few months ago. We had some clothes that we put out there that we sold uh, for through our um, uh, the Burnt Hills garage sale. And then now they're filling up with instruments and cases and this and that. So I'm going to take those out. Also underneath I got a whole bunch of oh, scrap instruments and stuff. I got one table cleared off and moved. Uh, however, there's a pile of instruments underneath and I got to figure out something to do with that. Also, I found this trumpet and it's in really bad shape that I think is going to go into the garage sale pile. Someone will probably buy it at the garage sale for about $10 and they'll turn it into a wall hanging or something like that. I just got a call from Janelle and she's on her way home and she'll be home in a few minutes so I'm going to finish up here and head home. I'll show you what I got done. I just got the table cleared off and it's moved over here. I'm going to carry it home with me. I got a few things moved to our garage sale pile. Yes, this is very appalling, all the garage sale stuff, but well, in a few months it won't be here. If you see anything you want in this pile, let me know and I'll sell it to you. Here we go. Ready? One. Janelle's getting a picture from her iPad of our food haul that we got today. If it was a good one. Let me see. That's a little boy right down. Oh, let me see, Mommy. Happy faces. They're happy because we got food. Let me see, Mommy. 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 You don't include these two large boxes, which Mary's already trying to nibble at. Yes, um, I nibble at it. These I spent. $27.59 for the Price Shopper and $18.02 for the group for the Aldi's. So that's everything except these two boxes. Those two boxes are were $146.66, but these are mostly getting split with people um, in our co-op. $45 for all that, which I don't think is all that bad considering it's a lot of fresh stuff. Um, these were 20, these were clearance. This is Greek yogurt, 25 cents a piece. And then these are expensive, but I don't, this is our real food. This was $3.49. Um, Aldi's had a pound of peas for 89 cents a pound, which was really, that's cheaper than Price Shopper. And these I don't normally get, but they were 49 cents a box and they make a nice evening snack for um, yeah. us and then I got the ground turkey because I can add this to my hamburger and stretch the hamburger overall not bad of a shopping trip and it's been two weeks since I've been to price shopper and grandma well, bought something for the kids yes the animal crackers so we're gonna have to do these tonight okay. oh we got little tiny blueberries Romaine. Oh, those look good a little bit Why is this? John just take a little handful you don't need a huge handful I got a little handful. I got a little handful. Mm. Little blueberries. Mary came walking up to mommy with her Barney plate. I think she wants some food. After all the hype and excitement, we found this in the van, and we also realized that we forgot the eggs. And yes, we did have to buy eggs. Our chickens are not laying much right now. Mary loves oranges so okay. much, she was yeah, starting to eat grandma. the oranges right in the package. Mary. Say bye, Grandma. Bye-bye. Yeah, she's eager to eat an orange. <laughs> We're done bagging up the blueberries, and there they are. And yeah, I do have purple hands, and I also admit to having a purple tongue, too. We have a ham bone that we need to turn into pea soup, and I, Janelle's going to tell me what to do. I'm going to do it. And she also told me not to get a picture of her because it's not too good right now, but that's okay. <laughs> no! Okay. <laughs> Sort them out as you dump them into the crock pot. Make sure no rocks in there? Right. Okay. Just look carefully. We don't want any rocks. 
add eight cups of water to the crock pot. That's four. Now I can do this. Eight. And what's next? Uh, carrots, onions, and celery. Add the equivalent of one chopped onion. Okay. Let's see. That's good. It's one chopped onion? Yeah. Thereabouts. Not an exact science. Add about four stalks of chopped celery, and you can throw the leaves in there too if you want. Okay, four stalks. One, two, three, four. Yep, that's about right. No work. Not an exact science. And then, oh, maybe four or six carrots. Depends on what you like. Okay. One, two, three, four, four. five, six. <laughs> and some change. Okay. And we need to add some black pepper and two bay leaves. A teaspoon of black pepper. Is That's that good. It? That's good. Too much. It'll be ugh. Oh well. And two bay leaves. Okay. Got these when you rake the yard this year. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> need to fish them out before we serve it. There you go. All right. And I think that's it. I don't have a re my recipe here, but that's usually what I put in. Okay. I'm going to put it on low and cook it all night.